Greetings. Uh, this next segment that we're going to do is to uh, focus on some of the things you can do with your text tool. And uh, in particular, we're going to drill down on that uh, funky little button called the Rapido. So uh, first off, just open up uh, any file that you want to get into that has some text on it. Uh, in this case, I've got a little uh, stick plaque here, the uh, RDS uh, stick plaque. And um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to start here in um, selection mode. Anytime you open up a file, that's what you're going to default to. Um, now, if I double click on the text here, it's going to put me into text mode. As you can see, the button now is depressed up in the upper left hand corner. And at the top of the screen is going to be a favorites toolbar for um, adjusting the text. Um, you've probably played around with this already, maybe changed the font on something. Um, well, this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg as far as what you can do with the text. This little button up here in the corner, it looks like a colorful little pinwheel, is called the Repeto button. If you click on that, you will get yet another menu that's going to pop up here at the bottom of the screen. And um, it's going to give you additional options with the text. Now, each color of that pinwheel will give you uh, additional options. So there are a lot of things you can do with the text. I'll go through a few of them here. Um, I'll, some of this is going to be repeated because at the top of the screen is like a, um, a favorites of, of some of the stuff that's down the repeato here. So some of the things that you could play around with, um, on the uh, color green here, you can change your uh, font. That, that's pretty basic and simple. Um, I'm sure you've done that a few times already. Uh, to the right of that is justification. You could left align, right align, center. Uh, so you can play around with that with the text. Um, the A here, this is the uh, size of the text. So this is a 28 point font. That's 0.28 inches. And uh, next to that is the width of the text. If you want to stretch something out or make something more narrow, we could uh, make the text a little more narrow. And as you can see, uh, the text has, um, has squished together a little bit. I'm going to bring that back. Uh, if you want to italicize everything, and uh, now italicized text uh, defaults to 15 degrees. We could make that 80 degrees if we want to. We could uh, really, ooh, that doesn't even look good. So um, you, can, uh, you can italicize it any um, degree that you would like, um, or you could take that off if you, if you like. Uh, next to that is a uh, character list. If you click on that, you could enter a uh, character. And um, uh, for example, let's say that, uh, you know, this, um, Oh, I don't know, maybe this E, you want an accent over the E. Uh, you can highlight that E, click on your character list, uh, find the lowercase E here that has a uh, accent on it. Here we go. Click on that, insert, close that, and now if you zoom in here, you'll see that that E has an accent on it. So there's a lot that you can do here. Um, on the next uh, screen, uh, we've got uh, the uh, angle of the letters. You could uh, you could adjust the angle of the, of the letters. Um, we'll highlight this here real quick. And maybe we angle all the letters 25 degrees. And as you can see, all the letters have now um, are at 25 degrees. I'm going to bring that back. We could spread the space out between the letters, uh, make that 110%. And you'll see it kind of spreads the letters out a little bit. So um, again, it, it's a uh, you, you'll want to play around with this to, to get the desired result. Uh, this isn't something you're going to do on a regular basis, but um, if you if you want to play around and get a get a nice design together, uh, these tools are at your disposal. Uh, you can uh, make a superscript uh, font or, or text. Um, subscript, uh, you can do a uh, line above or below the text. Um, on the next color here, uh, we've got um, the width of the uh, text lines. Uh, that's something that we set for you. Uh, so I wouldn't mess around with that unless you, you know what you're uh, doing there. Um, this is interesting, these, these uh, buttons on the bottom here. Let me uh, jump into that here. Um, I'm going to uh, make it what's called a text in a rectangle. And so we'll draw a rectangle here. I'm clicking on text tools and the text in a rectangle uh, button. Uh, it gives me a, a dot or a dashed outline and I can type any text that I want here. Um, so I will type some text and type to the edge and then another line.
And let me uh, zoom in on that, and we'll talk about what we can do here. All right, so text in a rectangle, if I want to highlight this, I could uh, increase or decrease the space between each line. Um, these are just different buttons, whether you want it a percentage or absolute. Let's increase that to 125%. And you can see that it spread the space out a little bit. Now this button here, this is called line compression. So if you look at the top line, that is squished. And then the next line below it is not because it has not, the text that I typed in there did not reach the edge and exceed it. Um, if you click the button next to this, this paragraph compression, when I hit the enter key, uh, it will squish each line the same. So uh, whatever line is squished the most, uh, that same, um, it, it will reduce the width of the letters on all the other lines uh, just the same. Uh, if you want it to do line by line, you can just click that button and you can go back to line compression. Uh, this is a neat little tool if, you, uh, if you're working on some plaques and you want to draw a text in a rectangle. It's a quick way to put text right where you want it and uh, adjust it all together. You don't have to work with uh, uh, line by line. Um, and that's about all that I can really cover here. Uh, there is on the color red, uh, you can set some uh, font attributes if you like. Um, I haven't played around with this too much, but if, if you are constantly putting together text that is uh, Times New Roman and uh, italicized at 17 degrees and, and spread out 110% um, uh, between each line, you could um, save those attributes and then um, name them. And then once you, uh, you could select it here and use your little paintbrush there to uh, copy those attributes to any other, um, to any other text. So this is a little rundown of what you can do under this little repeato button. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's a lot that you can do. And the best way to learn is uh, to go out and try. Give it a, give it a whirl. Uh, play around with it a little bit. And um, I'm sure you'll find some, uh, some useful tools here. So thank you very much.